what up coming to you live from method auto group so the reason we're here is for as you can see in the title one particular car but always like stopping here because they have a nice mix of everything we got a random miata spotting right there and then next to that look at this beautiful mark too gotta love that fitment we have a jdm toyota prius how many people have this r33 s chassis drift build one of the cleanest land cruisers i ever seen we got 2k trucks and then the star of the show so i've been driving this car a little bit just trying to get a feel of it and i'm gonna be honest with you guys this might be my favorite k car ever it's turbo power windows airbags four wheel drive extremely rare and it's mid-engine it has a frunk so this is what we're going to talk about in today's video i'm gonna drive it get on the highway get up to like 100 kilometers i'm gonna show you guys some weird quirks like this thing right here show you guys the seat i'm gonna pop the frunk like i mentioned and just explain to you why this really might be one of the coolest k cars ever so this is a 1998 honda z so it's kind of similar to the honda life and the smx i think i want to kind of bunch those two together because if you look over here this is very similar to the step wagon and smx along with all that but it has the same motor as the honda life it just has a turbo attached to it and it's also a k car here's a look at the back we have a lot of room one sub here another sub here this seat goes down i'm gonna show you guys all the cool little quirks right now put this one down as well and then you lift this up pull this carpet and this is where the motor is this is where the motor is i know you guys love honda beats and you love the baby nsx this is like a baby nsx on 15 inch wheels that's also all wheel drive all right now let's pop the hood and look at this coil packs we got the turbo right there there's the intercoolers you can see look how clean it is under here alternator and everything looks nice we got the oil cap this thing is crazy let me show you how it looks from here you can see the intercooler is right there there's the motor the air box is i think right there I'm not 100 percent sure but come on look at this i know you guys were not expecting to see the engine back there and now let's pop the trunk and i'll show you that this car gets even better so under the frunk we have the spare tire we got the battery washer fluid let me hang this up real quick and the best part by far is if you unclip this unclip that pull this out you get some storage are you kidding me you guys know i love some weird quirks like look at that tell me this is not the coolest k car ever you can fit all your groceries up there you know the wagon r has a little cool thing under the seat that's cool and all but under the frunk all this thing needs is a blow valve like if i didn't have my honda life right now i think i would sell my moto compo instantly and buy this car like this is such a cool ass car but let me close this back up let's drive it let's get into the interior a little more but i had to show you guys the engine i had to and just like that we're back to having a normal car these seats go all the way down i love the fact that they made this car so livable you have a cup holder on this side and this side two in the front little storage pocket there little storage pocket there big speaker here big speaker there rear seat belts which is amazing like i mentioned driver side airbag and the passenger airbag that is unheard of in these k cars power windows is a nice touch power mirrors are a good touch power locks is a great touch as well and then on the passenger side we have this little storage pocket you get to fit some things there no glove box which is a little weird but this is nice and then the fog lights and everything work i'll show you guys how that looks right now here's the rear lights you can't really tell that they're on but up here you can definitely tell that the headlights and fog lights are on fire as if i needed more selling points on this honda z it has a honda navigation system which i know to us does absolutely nothing because we can't use the gps we can't listen to the radio but having something like this makes it so cool it shows that the car is still in japan you can see right here we're off the coast and then it opens has a cd player has a cassette player it says honda look at that it says do not put your drinks there this is not a little like ashtray and then you still get the fm radio but like i said if you just have a transmitter i would 100 percent keep this if i still had this car like taking this out and putting like a regular double din to me just doesn't do it justice like it all still works like come on but now let's start it has 111,000 kilometers starts right up the floor mats are extra minty first drive in the honda z let's see how this feels 
currently on this back road. We're cruising at 60 kilometers an hour right now. Car feels fine, has power steering. Like I mentioned, it's full-time four-wheel drive. Picking up speed, picking up speed while going uphill, which is nice. You don't really get that in a lot of cars. I don't really know how to explain it, but this doesn't feel like a K car. Like for me, this car feels too nice. Like if this is someone's first K car and this is like their introduction to K cars, you'll be very spoiled. We get two airbags, power mirrors, power windows, the AC's cranking, full-time four-wheel drive, turbo. It's a four-speed at that. It isn't even like a three-speed like my Honda Life. You get a tack, all these extra lights. This car is so loaded where I feel like I'm driving, you know, a smaller Japanese car, but not a K car. K is supposed to mean like small, little, bare bones, not a lot of amenities, but this one is the exact opposite. Like, I don't feel like I'm driving a K car right now. I feel like I'm driving like a Toyota Crown, you know what I mean? Like a normal JDM car. And to make it even crazier, it's a Honda. Like it's a Honda that's all wheel drive, it's turbo and it's a K car. Like, what is this? When? How do people like, I don't even know what to say. So I'm on a nice straightaway right now. I'm going 70 kilometers an hour. I'm probably in third gear. I don't think I'm in my final gear right now. I'm at 4,000 on the RPM and the car feels fine. I could probably, yeah, I could punch in and pick up a lot of speed. I'm currently going 100 kilometers an hour. Car feels great. The fact that it's four time four wheel drive, you don't really get that like snappy feel but it feels planted. Like, I feel like I have no worries. I would definitely drive us in the snow, the rain, all that stuff. I feel like, I feel like I'm just in like a really nice Jimny or Pajero. Like, that's what I could compare it to because I couldn't compare this to like the Honda Life. I couldn't compare this to like an Ulta, one of the hot hatches. Like, this has to be up there with like, you know, this is a five look car, like one of the bigger K cars. And if we're comparing this to a Jimny, which is like the most bare bones K Jeep, and then the Pajero's a little nicer, also turbo, four cylinder. And then we have the Z. To me, this is still a much better car. Like the center dash, the cluster, the windows, the fact that it has airbags, all this still feels very modern and new. Like I'm cruising right now. I drove here in a Jetta. I would leave in this. I'd leave in this 100%. I'll do a crazy road trip in a car like this because I feel like it's so capable. I'm going to do a U-turn here and let's do a cool like little 20 dig and see how long it takes us to get to 100 kilometers an hour. And all right, we're currently at 20 kilometers an hour and I'm gonna punch it, my foot all the way down. Yeah, you, you at, now I get the engine note behind me. Now it's like baby NSX, Honda B. Oh my God. It's still wanting to go. It's still wanting to go. Now this is really, the, this is the perfect gate car. This currently, for 1998, in my opinion, is the best K car. I'm not even just saying this. This is the best K car that I've driven, that I've reviewed. I haven't really driven like an AutoZen, but to me, like that can be the best K car. Cause this car is only $8,500, by the way. Like I haven't mentioned the price yet. This is only $8,500. Like obviously an AutoZen is cooler. Cappuccino, you know, to each his own. I could see how this would be better than a Cappuccino. Cappuccino is very uncomfortable. Seats two people, it's not really the best everyday car. But to me, for $8,500 with title, I need you to find me a more comfortable K-car, a better K-car, a car that can do everything this car can do. Full-time four-wheel drive, turbo, airbags. Like, the Pajero, I would say, you know, the Pajero's kind of the same exact car, that's nice. But this guy, no, man. This is, this is, this is on a different level than the Pajero. This is on a different level than the Jimny. It's definitely on a different level than, I don't even know what to compare it to. There's only two cars I can really think of. Like, look at this bad boy. It's a little aggressive too in the front. The headlights kind of dive in and gives you an angry look. But they got a chaser here. Here's the Honda Life. You guys know I'm currently raffling off mine if you haven't already entered. I think we're down to about like 62 slots sold. This guy has a full arrow kit on it, which makes it nice. The interior is a little different than mine too. Mine has like circle triangle patterns, but it's just as cool. What do you guys think about the kit? I think the fact that it's like this like burnt orange makes it even cooler. Automatic, just like mine clean just like mine 92,000 kilometers i love that mine has a wing because now seeing this one with the side skirts and everything the nice little like front lip sick then they got this suzuki carry that's a dump i believe this one is around 55 too and then this nissan is cool because it's manual and it's not a k car obviously but it has cool little quirks it only has 30,000 kilometers it kind of reminds me of like the ser it's a pulsar that thing's nice but 
the star of the show guys you already know i don't know how much longer i have to say that this car is really perfect because just look at it you get a lot of storage back here you could put this seat all the way up you could fold them you get some speakers i'm sure this thing bumps got the little intakes there fog lights i just gotta color those yellow honda like iconic two-tone paint the active ends and everything was the two shades of gray uh, let's drive this thing back sadly i'm gonna do a couple more runs but look at this thing man currently in japan let me see can i go all the way to america oh no nah, it doesn't go that far it's just a white screen but come on style starting in 1999 especially all the k trucks most of the k vans but I don't know, there's really nothing else i can say about this car i still have the ac on this whole time i've been punching it with the ac on it's on blast the car's cool bunch of headroom interior lights work it's all-wheel drive it's turbo it's a k car if this was manual i was thinking about it i don't know if it'd be cooler i don't know if i want this in manual I think the fact that it's so comfortable, it has so many like comfortable little creature comforts. I don't know if I really want to be changing gears. I love the fact that it's automatic and I could just be like chilling, driving like this. Nothing to worry about. I don't know if I really want to be banging through gears in like a, in like a, I don't know. I don't really, it's really, let me know in the comments how you guys feel about it. Cause when I had my automatic Jimny, I didn't love it as much as my manual Jimny, but that one, I put a boost gauge and all that fun stuff in there. But this one too, I'd put a boost gauge and make this one sick. Like I'm telling you, if I didn't have my Honda Life, and if I didn't have the cappuccino, I guess, and if I didn't really want to beat, I don't really want this. Like, I think it's a perfect car, but to me, this one in particular is so clean that I don't know what I would make content of. I would just be driving this shit all the way to like California. Like, this car is perfect. They just recharge the AC. This car is really like, there's nothing for me to do. All I would do is make it a little nicer. But I need like a piece of crab car that we're gonna see tomorrow when we check out that red Honda Beat. But yeah, this thing is sick almost back at the shop $8,500 $8,500 with title I think that's a steal you couldn't tell me that this Honda Z and a Lambo are much different both mid-engine both all-wheel drive both make a lot of people happy when they see it I don't I don't know the differences honestly and if I punch it it's throwing me back you hear that you hear that you hear that all right, I'm in this video here. I'm almost back at the dealership. If you want to buy this, hit Method Auto Group up. They want 8,500. Those bumps are nothing. But yeah, they want 8,500. Tell them wait for the fame sent you. They'll hook it up, give you some free merch. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. This is really one of the coolest K cars. Like, I can't believe I'm driving a Honda right now. Like, does Honda have any off-road vehicle? I guess, like, the Ridgeline? Well, you know, other four-wheelers and... Yeah. Cars. But not even not only a Honda, but a Honda K car. Right. That's four wheel drive and turbo. Right. Remember the name. This is way before the fame.